Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris. Today we're going to be doing an awesome review on this beautiful 1982 GMC Jimmy. It's done in a beautiful metallic silver with ox blood interior. It's supporting a three speed automatic transmission with a small block 350 underneath the hood, but we'll get to that here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and start our walk around here. We'll start up front with this beautiful GMC grill. Everything on this truck appears to be replaced or new at some point in time. The chrome is in great condition. You you have that awesome USA One license plate that everyone puts on these classic trucks here. Uh, your headlights are in great condition. I don't see any cracks or oxidation or yellowing or anything like that. It looks really, really good. You do have that low plastic valence down there that just gives it that sport truck look. As we walk around the side of the truck here, your marker light here is in brand new. The chrome is great. You have an awesome set of 20 inch American racing wheels. Your fender is in great condition. As Justin looks over this hood here, you'll see that it's in really good condition. There's no scratches or uh, any kind of major imperfections on this hood here. Your glass is in great condition. All your trim looks really nice on this truck. Even your mirrors are in good condition as well. Wing window looks good. Even the, all the uh, weather stripping here around the wing window looks in great condition, which is a big plus. Your gaps look nice and even all the way down. As I look at that crisp body line that runs down the middle and I look down the side of the truck, I don't see any waviness or anything like that. Overall, very, very nice. I always like to open up the doors to show you that these doors sh shut good. You don't have any issues with that. All your trim down the side of the truck looks like it's been replaced at some point in time. And also the hard top for this uh, Jimmy is in great condition. Your glass is in great condition, no cracks or anything like that. The weather stripping looks to be in great condition. The uh, the hard tops for these, man, if they get lost, they're hard to find. I think I looked up a couple months back for another Blazer, K5 Blazer that we had, and I could not find a hard top anywhere other than some used ones that were pretty rough. So to find one in good condition on the truck and, and ready to go, that's a big, big plus. Um, but anyways, we'll go out back here. You do have your US Mag chrome wheel back here as well. Uh, you got your gas cap here, nice and clean in there. You can just tell that this truck was restored very, very nicely. As we work our way around the back, you've got your tail lights here. They're in great condition. You do have that GMC uh, trim piece there across the back of the tailgate. It's in great condition. Chrome looks amazing as well, guys. Overall, this truck is fantastic and looks really good. It's a really good one to take out and drive and take the cruise ins and show off to your friends. But uh, one thing that I wanted to show you, uh, the rear glass on this does work. It works with a switch inside the truck or you can use the key. You just stick it in just like that. It rolls right down for you. And like I said, you can also control this with a switch right there on the dash. We'll show that in just a minute. But overall, very, very nice truck. Let me open the tailgate here. Justin, show them how nice the carpet is back here. Got a couple little pieces of dirt where we were riding with the top or the uh, rear glass down. But overall, very clean back there. The interior on this truck shows very well. Probably one of the best things of the truck is the interior. It literally looks brand new. It's super clean. But guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and work our way back up front, pop the hood so I can show you the beautiful small block. All right, guys, check out this beautiful small block 350 underneath the hood here. You do have power brakes, AC, power steering, all the things that this truck came from the factory with. It's very clean and sanitized underneath here. As you can see, the engine's been upgraded with a new carburetor. Uh, black valve covers and a black air breather just gives it a nice little look underneath the hood kind of dresses it up a little bit but definitely fits the truck and, and looks very very nice this truck has good power like i said it's a 350 small block with an upgraded carburetor on it it's probably making somewhere around the 300 horsepower range plenty of power to get you down the road and get you out in traffic but a very nice cruiser for sure. But guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and shut this hood and let's move to the interior. Wow, guys, check out this beautiful ox blood interior. And this thing looks like it rolled off the showroom floor inside here. It just looks absolutely beautiful. As you can see, your dash is near perfect. No cracks or any kind of warping on there. Overall, very, very nice. You do have an upgraded set of Dakota digital gauges over here, as well as a Bluetooth retro sound radio. Those are two big upgrades in a truck, especially a classic truck like this that I would definitely do myself. 
you do have a tilt column here so you can get that perfect position of the steering wheel and the steering wheel has been upgraded with a classic steering wheel as well you do have power windows and power locks you do have ice cold ac you've got these beautiful bucket seats here and the beautiful console to match it but overall this truck is very comfortable to drive rides really smooth with those qa1 shocks but your interior is very 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 clean and looks very nice also i wanted to mention that the uh, switch for the rear glass is right here that operates the back glass that i showed you earlier with the key either one works if you're driving on the road you got your dog back there or you just want some fresh air coming in hit that switch it'll roll right down for you but overall very nice look at the headliner here justin show them how nice that is you do have the sun visors here as well that are in great condition and keep the sun out of your eyes but overall very nice let's get to my favorite part and let's take this one for a drive all right guys we're out driving in the jimmy and this thing is a great cruiser it rides really good and that is partially due to the suspension on this truck this thing has qa1 shocks on it and they're adjustable so you can stiffen them or soften them for whichever ride you would like but that is probably one of the biggest reasons this thing drives good plus you got 20 inch wheels with decent rubber on them versus some like little tiny rubber band tire that's going to definitely affect the ride as well uh, we have the ac going in here it's about 75 degrees today here in georgia feels really nice today but with the windows up you definitely need the ac going these uh digital dakota gauges work excellent uh they're all working they're all showing proper fuel level level voltage coolant and oil pressure even the turn signal there works as it should but overall just a great driving truck not only is the suspension nice on it but it drives nice and straight down the road here. Left my turn signal on. Uh, you do have a Bluetooth radio that works. We don't want to get copyrighted it. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and turn that on real quick and shut it off for you. But like I said, everything in here works as it should. You do have your rear glass back here that you can control with that if you want to roll it up. But man, just an awesome driving truck. Transmission shifts great on it. Engine runs nice and smooth. Definitely a good cruiser that you can get in take the kids out to dinner in or you can take the wife out to dinner with the ac keep her nice and cool especially on those hot summer days but overall a very nice truck we are going through some construction here so you might hear me kind of running over some of the rumble strips that's not me driving off the road it's just the construction but another thing i'd like to mention before we move on to the next part the exhaust on this truck is not super loud but it's loud enough that you can hear it it has a good sound to it but not overly loud which is nice for a truck like this that you want to just cruise in and drive it's not a race truck or a hot rod or anything like that just a really nice classic truck that you can get in and cruise and have a good time and still get that feel of going to the car shows and the cruise ins and doing all that stuff with this truck but overall uh, it's very nice but let's go ahead and work our way back to the shop so i can put it up on the lift and show you how clean the bottom side is All right, guys, we got the Jimmy back here at the dealership and up on the lift. And before we start this full um, review of the bottom side of this truck, I want to mention something very important. Every vehicle that comes into Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta goes through a pre-inspection. We don't just take these vehicles, get them in, clean them, and throw them on our showroom floor. We actually do a pre-inspection on this vehicle. We go over everything from interior gauges, exterior lights, to make sure the turn signals, headlights are working properly. We check the horn. We check all the bottom side of the truck, including like suspension components, the drive shaft, the transmission, any major leaks, brakes, all those things get checked on this truck before it goes online and on our showroom floor. Also, after the vehicle is purchased, it goes through a final inspection, uh, pre-purchase inspection after it's done, just to make sure nothing else happened to the truck while it was sitting on our showroom floor to ensure that you get a vehicle that is roadworthy. This is really big for you guys uh, that are buying a classic car to ensure that you're buying something that is extremely reliable. But with that being said, let's go ahead and work our way back up front here like we always do. I always like to look at these frame horns right here to make sure that they're nice and straight, to make sure there's no ish issues with the front end being hit which this one does not have that. They're nice and straight, look perfect. Um, you've got a nice sway bar here to keep this truck nice and planted when you're going around turns. That's kind of the purpose of a sway bar is to keep everything nice and planted, keep the truck from having extreme body roll. You, as you can see here, your cross members in excellent condition here. You still have the factory control arms, but this truck was lowered with Beltec lowering suspension. So you get the uh, lowering spring and the drop spindles on this truck. And you've got a nice set of disc brakes up front. 
as well as some QA1 shocks that are single adjustable. These things are absolutely amazing and they really make the truck drive really nice. And you can really dial in that suspension the way you want it. If you're kind of a guy that likes a more firm ride, you can definitely click them up and, and make it a more firm. But if you're looking for something a little softer, you can definitely soften them up with the adjustable knob right there on the shock. You do have dual exhaust here, no major leaks here on the bottom side. Your frame is in excellent condition. Take a look at the floor pan, I can't speak, floor plan, pan, God. Take a look at the floor pans here. They're in good condition. There's no issues with rust or anything like that underneath here. Overall, very clean and nice under here. As we work our way back, you do have a 10 bolt rear end. Now this is not the same 10 bolt that comes in like an F body Camaro. This is actually a little bit beefier because it is in the truck. So instead of a 7.5, it's actually an 8.5, which is eight and a half inches. So your carrier is a little bigger there, a little beefier, uh, can definitely handle a little bit more power. Um, you are lowered out back here with a flip kit and you've got the QA1 shocks as well. No leaks here, no axle seal leaks. I don't see anything leaking on the back of the drums here. Gas tanks in good condition. Lee springs are all in good condition. Overall, just a great cruiser. Uh, if you guys are interested in this, please reach out to us. We do have uh, financing, shipping, um, we can do anything like that to help make this a seamless process for you. So just go ahead, pick up the phone, give us a call at 770-738-7111. Or you can reach out to us via email at showroom at collectiblemotor.com. And you can ask for Chris, which is me, or my partner, Justin, and we would be happy to help you in any way possible. But guys, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you made it to the end, we really appreciate you guys. Go ahead and give us, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, your support means the world to us. If you guys are interested in merch, I don't have any on today, but we do have uh, t-shirts and hats on our website. You can go to our website, click the merch uh, link at the top of the page there, and you can order directly from the website. But guys, we really appreciate everything you do for us by watching the videos. Keep supporting us, and we'll keep coming out with great content for you. But we'll catch you on the next one.